I can't stop talking about this. I can't stop thinking about this. I can't stop looking into this. The nightmare troubles my heart, troubles my mind. Shook the foundation of my soul, my soul. White world lies. How can this be? This white world lies everywhere, every place, every day, everywhere you go. Lies, lighting all. Lies, carries all. divine truth that walked me back to you. Hmm. Thank you, Abbe Yehoah, my eternal husband, for closing the door of the broad way against me and opening the door of the narrow way back to you upon me. I love that. Thank you, Abbe. 
Hey, for you are the only reason for life. And without you, Abba, life is so worthless, so meaningless, useless, and empty. But with you huh, is a call for eternal peace and joy of mind. I love you, Abba. And I also thank you for your eternal breath upon the lifeless ones. The sons and the daughters of your eternal kingdom. I just love you, Abba. For you said, I shall know the truth. And only your truth is going to deliver me from the bondage of lies. Thank you for you are. You have perfectly done that. For standing strong here among your people. I just love you, Abba. Greetings, family. Greetings to every one of us. Hope we are doing great today. As for me, I'm getting bigger and bigger and bigger in His love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, now, family, here we are in the heavenly court. Room of Yahuwah with this powerful message titled for you and me. John C. Suleiman, the notorious false prophet's prophecy before December 31st, failed, nothing happened. <laughs> what are you going to do about this? Nothing absolute happened. I wept. Though I'm not surprised because I know it's going to turn out to be this, to be nonsense. But what are we saying? Nothing happened. Everything silent. And empty. How now? Where are we going to? Where are we going from here? Like I always love to say. It's not by sensational, emotional, radiation burning, personal now. But by the real last adjective, we want to put a Sunday gay between the biblical messiah and the unbiblical messiah. Between Yahushua Hamashiach and Park Jesus Christ from the pit. Of hell. That's what we always do over here to let you know that these are two different deities, to let you know that these are two different kingdoms, to let you know that these are broad way and these are narrow way. What are you doing about this? What are you going to do about this? Isn't it the first time of him prophesying a lie? Isn't it the second, third, fourth? No. It has become a part of him. You're not doing something about that. So this one is not call, is not a call for you not to say, wait a minute, what is going on? So this one is not raising alarm before you. So this one is not letting your antenna to grow into the sky and begin to question what is going on here. So you're taking normal. He yes, said, does it matter they are here maybe? Really? What is the nature of prophecy? To be precise, what is prophecy? Prophecy simply means a man or a woman, because the office of prophet uh, prophets is also the office of a woman called prophetess. That is a man or a woman that is getting a direct word. From Abbe Yehua, from the heavenly, that is speaking the mind of Abbe Yehua. Now the other, when it turns the other way around, that is why it's been called false prophet. That is, you are getting a word from a folly deity, a demon that brings about air, fire, a demon that ushers a eternal fire. You are bringing his mind. You are bringing his word. You are bringing his heart desire. You are bringing his dream. What he lost for. To humanity. And said, thou sayest. Really? Now, what is the implication? That is dangerous game. That is spiritual dangerous game. That is not giving you wrong identity. That is not giving you wrong address. That is not giving you wrong ways to follow. 
That is not leading you through the broad and the wide gate of destruction. That is why it's so dangerous. Prophecy means to tell you the mind of a deity, the desire of a deity. Oh no, this sad this is my heart. The people is not seeing it the way I saw this. So dangerous. Okay, let me not be using my word. But sometimes I want to talk to you like a brother. I want to talk to you like a sister. I want to talk to you like a family. Let's talk it over. I bet you want to say, come over now. Let's reason this together. Now that this prophecy failed. What are you going to do? You said it's normal? All right, now before we keep putting in the word of Abbey, you want to validate this very title. I want to play the video once again. Let's hear this and ponder over it and say, Let me, let, let, let me, let me, let me be real. What is going on here? Maybe you are forgotten. Let me bring the prophecy back to your remembrance now. Horrible Shandaya. All right, let me say this and then it makes me cry. I will tell you what I did. This year, in this country, All right. something will happen. Mm -hmm. Something will happen in this country before mm -hmm. the 31st of December. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Put your ears down. Put your, put your ears down. Send it out. He's agent, but still to no Close avail. To humble All the right. certain parts of the country. Okay. I will talk more than that. God is going to humble. He's going to make them quiet. Why, yes, something will happen in a part of this country. Is it better? In a certain part of this country. Okay. You will see it. Iroko will fall. Mm. Oh. So bad you do. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm so bad you do. See what I'm not saying, no. Okay. There is something that would. that people will enter quiet. Everybody will just be quiet. Everybody will just be quiet. Only God could have done that. Only God could have done that. Only God. Only God. So, this prophecy, the timeline is. This prophecy, the so timeline is so this short. Is, yeah. Today is six. Twenty-four days. We have twenty-four days to go. Where? Hmm. Anybody who tells you there are people that tell you, ah, pray, I've been praying. Shut been up! Praying. Don't strike you, man. Hey, I was mighty me. Oh boy, what are you gonna do about this? Now, Nigeria has 36 states, and if you choose one state, even though it doesn't tie the prophecy to no event, even though it wasn't uh, specific, but it gave you out a prophecy from a deity. He spoke the mind of a deity. He disclosed the mind of a deity. A deity spoke through him. You see me, see you, just, so let me just display witchcraft before you. This pure witchcraft. Fly in daytime. He was under the ocean of a spirit. So what spirit is this now? This guy was under the... He was prophesying. A deity was speaking through him. He was under the ocean of a demonic movement. A devil was speaking through him. I said that. Today, sister. I'm going to do something that's going to make one tribe, one state, among 36, to be quiet. In fact, I'm going to humble one state. I'm going to humble one tribe. I'm going to do this. All of them is going to be quiet. And they, they're going to know this is my finger. They will know and will talk about it. This is not man's doing. This is my dealings. They're going to know I did it. Come on now, family. Let's be real. What happened? From that December, that is, uh, excuse me, from that December 6th until December 31st. So this fifth, nothing absolute happened. So you're going to take this for it, right? You're going to take this as a joke? You're going to take this as normal? Something that is normal? You're going to flash your face away from this? So you're not going to question that spirit. I knew that spirit. That is what we wanted to do. Are you not going to be, you're not going to test Jesus and test this bastard? Joseph Sule Ogun? <laughs> All right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. It pierces my heart.
when I when I you know I was into him before you know like I said I says this in one of my video I did recently that I'm gonna be I return back to him forcefully that's what I said then I was once into him I also left him to go for another subject so now I return forcefully back to him I'm gonna tell you what I did that could be now on your born day the day you come on the second day of the week no excuse me uh, first day of the week Sunday night I was so grown, I was troubled, severely in my spirit. I said, come on now. When I heard the prophecy, I know that prophecy. I said, so this man, he don't even care that he failed. This guy don't even bother that his prophecy, he didn't come to pass. It's not verified. So this man could even sit down and shut up for a second and say, who worked on me? Who gave me this prophecy? He feel no remorse at all. He keeps saying, oh, no, that nonsense. I wept that day. I will tell you what I did in my prayer and the vision that I saw. So before we say that, uh, before I narrate that, let's put in our scriptures to validate the title. The prophecy failed. The prophecy failed again and again and again and over again. It failed big time. This one is so loud. But you say you are not hearing the trumpet sounding. You say you didn't hear it. It's just normal. To me, is it normal? To me, it is a spiritual dangerous game. This is just a game. These people is playing game with your eternity. These are the people you trust and build to your salvation on. You say this one is going to lead you onto eternal rest. When I see people die on Facebook, they begin to say rest in peace. Really? What peace are you speaking of? Peace just come like that. <sighs> There's a job you need to do. You know that for you to live in that peace. First of all, let's put in the word of Abayahua. Deborah, best known as the Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 20 through 22. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name which I have not commanded him to speak or that shall speak in the name of other gods like Jesus Jesus or that other gods okay even that prophet shall die and this is the most reason why Jesus said he destroyed the law because assuming I did it spiritually eh? that's what I'm going to tell you now. I did a very dangerous prayer I've never done such prayer in my life I'm going to tell you the prayer I did against Johnson Sulema and the and the, and the, and the, and the Answer Abiyawa gave unto me. 21. And if thou say in the heart, how shall we know the word which Yahuwah had not spoken? Listen. 22. When a prophet speaketh in the name of Yahuwah, if the thing follow not, that is like this prophecy. We also, like I said, I have many of his. No, that, that one makes me cry. This man keep prophesying. Like I said, I say, indeed, this man is prophet of Baal. You know, prophet of Baal prophesied from morning way down to the evening uh, sacrifice. Even though they see they are false, even though they see their prophecy is not coming into reality, they still keep on prophesying. This guy not too well that he prophesied a lie. A devil spoke, uh, spoke through him. I still keep on prophesying. Or we'll do that also separately. So when I look at it, many, many prophecies, this guy is just, it's like a mad person. It's like he's running a race with people. It's like they are doing prophecy challenged. The thing is falling out unspeakable, unstoppable. I say, wow, with that hunger, I go on note in my prayer and I lay a course. Because this is what the royal law says. If you prophesy a thing that doesn't cut, you must be put to death. Now, he said number two is going to become number one because they are Jesus once did it. <laughs> when I was looking into that prophet, I said, what kind of madness is this? That is a thing that doesn't follow. If a prophet is prophesied, a thing that does not follow the scriptures. Because how about your pool, the state, and the ministry, he put asunder. He put asunder. And said, this one be on your own because this is a worldly system. There is a leader over there. You don't bring that into, you know, the prophecy of Yehovah. Prophecy is to edify one another. Is to build one another in the ministry. That's the core of prophecy. That's the nature of prophecy. Is to, prophecy is not meant for unbelievers. Now, 
is made for believers. Okay? It's made for believers, not for unbelievers. So those are the things that does doesn't follow. He prophesy for unbeliever. The number two is gonna become number one. The number one is Islam. <laughs> this one will win. Jonathan will win. And uh, Jonathan lose. This and that. All oh, his prophets, they are complete nonsense. So that doesn't follow. So that one and it doesn't follow. Okay, let's see the second uh, criteria of how to know what Yahuwah has spoken. He said, how, how can you know when the prophet is prophesying? How can you know the word that he what not speak? He said, number one, if the word doesn't follow. If the prophecy is, in, or is, is, is not from the Bible, mm -mm, drop it. It's a false prophet. Let's see the second one. No, come to pass. That is the second one. If a prophet professor and that prophecy uh, could it come to pass, like the one we are listening to, that one breaks my heart. Because it was so loud. But people is pretending as if nothing happened. Just taking Nama and say it is the way, it is their lifestyle, it's normal. But to me, it isn't. So, if it doesn't come to pass, you see the other criteria? No, come to pass. That is the thing which Yehovah had not spoken. But the prophet has spoken. Okay. That is the word Yehovah. Has not given. So now who gave? It is the devil. So see me see you. This guy was just flying. He brought the light. A demon was just using him to minister. Now I will see put one scripture. Let's go to the New Testament. So like what we just said. This is the thing. Yahuwah have not spoken. The New Spirit gave it to him. It is the devil. So let's go to the New Testament. Before we start. Before I narrate the, the sewer. What I did. Fact. It's so dangerous. It's just slimmer. You don't have to play games. All right. And there is a payback for that. All right. We are in the New Testament, the New Covenant, or rather the Renewed Covenant. First John chapter 4, verses 1. You know all these scriptures, but you just take it normal. All right. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Whether they are from Yahuwah. That is what he said. He said, if a prophet professor and that prophecy doesn't follow the word of Abba Yahuwah, test that prophecy. Like they prophesy Donald Trump is going to win. Hillary, uh, the other one will not win. Uh, Joe Biden will win. He's so confused. That isn't the, the, the prophet of Yahuwah. No. He doesn't follow. Listen. Beloved. Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are from Yehovah, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. What are they doing? They, are, they were sent out for you. They have been sent out to you with a devilish wrong address message to mislead you, to get you out of the narrow way and to put it into the broad way. Because he said the devil know his time is so short. How now? Jesus, the play were yo. I tell you, some people still never know. <laughs> they thought when he tried me, Yahuwah give up me death is lap. Jesus, the play were you. Through all this notorious effort. Okay, now that we are done, let me put that vision because we are also running out of time. So this vision came unto me when I begin because when I begin to see some people they were so you know uh, they were in a bitter state like myself when I begin to hear him prophesying people now begin to insult and say just shut up this man what is it so I was indeed troubled and also saw some people still calling him father you know when I was doing this man message or oh, then. Or uh, even the one I put out recently, a guy just came and said, Are you not afraid to be talking, talking about this man? Uh, where this man has been through, the place he has entered, and the notable people he has contact with. You cannot in this one say, Just shut up. Let me hear words. What, what is that for? We are speaking of, talking of Bible. You are talking about worldly and worldly, uh, worldly uh, things, a uh, word. He knew president. Have you ever been to president? He know Donald Trump. Do you know Donald Trump? He know right. He, what, what, what kind of, uh, are you mad? I swear for him also. We curse, we bless. What is your problem? 
These days, Abba Yawa say in this world, he's going to use the weak things of this world to fool this one that said that they, they are wise. Like Goliath, he has what it, what it takes to win the battle because he was called a man of war right from, he has never lost no battle. He was a man of war, a man of war right from his youth. He has never lost no battle from his youth. Okay. But who did Abba Yawa used to disgrace him? A teenager with just a whatever stone. He, blew, he knocked him out of the way. So that is how he uses the weak things of this world to fool them that said that they are wise. What is the meaning of that? You know, right? Are we talking about you buying private jet prosperity? We are talking about eternal state over here. Get out of here. I blocked him because you are not getting it. Don't, don't bring worldly, worldly things. You know, to me, let's talk about his faith prophecy. And who gave him that prophecy? They were just run out of it. They can't do. Now, that was on Sunday night. First day of the week. Uh, as I was about to go to bed, had my divine fellowship. I was on nude. Because that is what the real Lord says. I pray it. I pray Yahuwah. You see this, my say, false prophet. And this is the reason why Jesus Christ said he destroyed the Lord. In order for him to keep, you know, covering up uh, 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 this false prophet. He is a false prophet. To keep deceiving people. And I said, okay, I pray Yahuwah. We can't stone him now. Please, you yourself do this stoning. I cried. I prayed. Stone this man right now. Stone this man. With your judgment. In your mighty name. As soon as, as soon as I was done with that prayer, I was on my note. I put on my dress. I go back. I sleep. I slept off. Now, all of a sudden, I found my seven inch covers. I just slept off. I found my seven inch cover called church. And I didn't went through the front door, but I passed through the back of his church into the, into the cover called uh, church. So as soon as I, I just entered from the back door, and I saw John C. Suleiman coming down from his uh, demonic altar with three heads. His first time I'm so saying doubt that one person with three heads. Uh, when I saw that, I was seeing if I saw him from his back, because like he was walking through the exit, and like me I, I, and I entered through the back door so they also asked Abbe, well, why should, did i walk through the back door and not the front door he said yes that is the person that knows somebody's secret you knows uh what is hiding in his back you cut him from his back you know the devil in his back he's showing his front as a sheep but in his back is a wolf so that's why i entered through his secret from his back like what I'm doing, now, this is how I enter from his back. I didn't go to his front or to his ministry. I call him first. I enter. I'm, what I'm doing now is from his back. But it's going to be hot when he turn back to, to reality, to Yahuwah's judgment. So right now, when I saw, I saw he was having three heads. I said, one body, one body with three heads, a three-headed palsy. I've never seen that. Yahuwah said, yes. I said, ah, ah. He said, this is satanic trinity and now uh, that blew me up i said really when he said this is satanic he said he excuse me not this he said he is satanic trinity i said he just slimmer he's a satanic trinity so when i just called his name then he now knew somebody is you know monitoring him somebody is after his back therefore he not turned that is why he heard my voice when he turned what did i saw in his face this was dreadful but i wasn't afraid of it so when in that tall, eh, just lemma, eh, three headed posse, ah, oh, ah, oh, satanic trinity, just lemma, satan when I said that. So he turned around, he wanted to come and attack me to fight me. I saw a mighty hand with a flaming sword and eh, draw a battle line. And as he put that sword on the line, he wrote on the ground with that sword and said, Don't cross over. To her. Don't touch her. Don't cross over to her. He now stands still. Therefore, they are not saw his frontage. 
what it contains at the back was three-headed palsy. <sighs> so dreadful. Look at whom human beings die with satanic trinity. Now, what I what did I saw? When I turned his face, and I saw his right hand was still this very face. Sir. Was still this very face was so horrible. And his left hand was a dog. And his head back, because now begin to turn around that. From his shoulder, that is where the head lines are. From here, that it was normal like this. Sir. But from here, neck up was for now. The head now begin to turn around like the vision of, of, of Yehukana in Revelation chapter 4. And I saw right hand now was this face. Huh? And left hand was a dog. Huh? And the head in the back was a goat. Huh? Huh? And the head in the front. Huh? The frontal head in Arabasende. The frontal head in Borodosindaya. The frontal head was a snake with two heads. A snake with two heads. That is what he wanted to use to attack me because that is what you're going to see here. But on this side, it was dusty. On this side was a dog. On the back was a goat. Now I want to begin to break them all to me. The functioning of those four heads. Christianity. Oh, now, now, it said the one in the right hand face, that is what he's portraying to people to see wolves in sheep clothing. The other three parts, the frontal one that has a snake but two head snakes, he said with one he will attack you, and with the other one he will heal you. That is why the one he attacked, that is why he was coming to attack me. Assuming he attacked me, nobody can heal me but him also. I will look for him. I will go for him and he will heal me with the other of the head, head of snake. <sighs> with one, he's going to attack you. And with the other one, he will lose all the miracle he's doing. Though not only him, only. I mean, what said that snake that has two heads rested upon every Jesus Christ pastor's head. They are the one to attack you. And they are the one to solve your problem. If Justice Suleiman attack you, T.B. Joshua cannot heal you. Mm -mm. Until you locate Joseph Sulema. Because that attack came from Joseph. If T.B. Joshua attack you, Joseph Sulema cannot heal you. Mm -mm. Until you go to uh, uh, T.B. Joshua. He said, every miracle worker, Christian pastor, that devil resident in there. That is why the miracle is called a lying miracle. We are coming to that, although I'm running out of time. Oh, uh, no. Okay, that was the snake. So the f uh, f the right hand is that was John C himself. That is what he's using to deceive people. You will be seeing me, seeing, seeing him as a normal human being. No, the wolf side. That is what we are disclosing over here. Now the right hand side. What was uh, the left hand side? What was the dog? He said that was why he feel no shame. He don't have no shame. Even though he's so disgraced, white world, this man don't feel no shame. Make it if he don't have no shame, that is the character of the dog in his left eyes. Now they've got eyes in the back. That is the foundation of them. Matthew 25 have it. The goat empire, the goat ministry. Daniel also have it. Daniel have it. Daniel chapter 8. The first Messiah that was also having two heads. The large and the little horn that came to take away the daily sacrifice and now ushers in Babylon. He said, These are Babylon prophets. The prophet of Baal. Then Abba Yawana went ahead and said, He said to me, He said, He is the most polluted and devilish. Among all oh, Jesus Christ pastor in the four corners of the earth. He said, this guy, John C. Sule destruction, is the most corrupt and most devilish. Because first time seeing four, three heads and four heads. It's four, four, first time. That vision was horrible. But I wasn't afraid of him. He, was, he said, he is the most corrupt. And this man will just be lying, see me, see you. He, he, will, he don't even have no shame. He don't even have no sense, you know, 
of regretting. Look at what they are doing to him. Look at what he did. He had no shame. That is his dog face. I'll see something on that is heavy. Now, in order to, for me to put on their fetish miracle, I would like to put in this. So, there are a lot of scriptures. Should I title this part one? Is there any need for part two? I only have 12 minutes to go. Jeremiah 14, 14. Then Yahweh said unto me, the prophets, uh, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them. Neither spoke unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of mouth and the deceit of their own heart. This man want to make name by all means. He want to be recognized. He want to be on top of other of his colleagues, the people he came to meet, meet in this prophet's ground. He want to be on top of them. That is why he will be doing more of his nonsense prophecy. You see this one, pure lie filled. You see? So Jeremiah, let me also put that down. Now I'm not going to read it. Let me just put it in order for us to do the other miracle, the mystery behind the miracle. Uh, Jeremiah 23, 16. Uh, okay, let me see. John said, don't fall for God, Tao. I'm macha, macha. Sulema, don't fall for the light, oh. I'm macha, macha. He not go fee come again, low. I'm macha, macha. I'm macha, macha. I'm the first prophet, oh. I'm macha, macha, oh. Sulema. Don't fall for the light, oh. I'm macha, macha. Just it don't fall for God tao. I'm much a much. He no go fi come again lo. I'm much a much I. I'm much a much I. I'm much a much I. I'm much you. I'm much you. You are gone. Horrible shanda yaba. Jeremiah twenty three sixteen. Don't say fi a wild first. Hacking not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you, they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not of the mouth of Yehovah. You see that already very clear. You can keep reading. So let's go now. I want to do one. So you can also take it from verses 21 to 20 through 27. No room to read that. Now I want to do one. How if it were it really nothing? Don't quote uh Jonah for me. Let's do Jonah. We'll do Jonah. Who do uh, the prophets? Not that they lie. Jonah never lie. Jonah prophets. Okay, let's put some. Please read Jonah chapter 3. Okay, I want to read 4. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was very hungry. And he prayed unto Yehovah and said, I pray thee, O Yehovah, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto. I fled, I fled before unto Tarsus, for I knew that thou art a, gr a gracious Yahuwah, a merciful slow to anger, and of great kindness, and uh, repented thee of this evil. Jonah said he wanted that because it now looks like he prophesied. Like what happened? That was like, go and speak to nine of them, all of you, in three days now, I'm going to finish all of you. So what happened? Jonah actually turned the whole community back to Yahuwah because they believed Jonah was a prophet of Yahuwah and they believed whatever he said is from the throne or the mind, the heart of Yahuwah he spoke the mind of Yahuwah where Daniel releases uh, excuse me, Jonah re releases this prophecy, included the king three or days it was, they were all on dry, animal beast, everybody fasted so they now repent from their wickedness and Jonah was still expecting, I bet you want to kill them all I mean, you're not say, what, what a minute. These people repented. Can I still kill them when they stop this? Ah, Jonah said, hey, therefore you not make me a liar. Because you told me you're going to finish all of them. Three days time, you're going to make that uh, community like Sodom and Gomorrah. And you refrain from that. And this was the reason I wanted not to go. In order for you not to make me a liar. So why did I include this? Jonah did not see the progress he make. But rather, Jonah now began to think people is going to be calling him false prophet. For you to know how bad it is for you for you to be labored a false prophet. 
But when you read it, you will see it was the mercy of Yehovah that put stop to that destruction or that genocide he wanted to bring upon the city of Nineveh. But Jonah could see it was a blessing for actually people to believe your word and repent. He now began to see in his own sight. Eh, people is going to be calling me, you professor. Eh, they, they, did not, they didn't destroy them. No, it wasn't that. They repented. They, they turned away from their wickedness. So I just let you know, true genuine of Yehovah. Because Daniel said, uh, Jonah was expecting that prophecy actually to come to pass. For Abba, you want to commit that genocide. But they repented. So you see, he said, I want to die. I want to die. I prefer to die for people to be calling me false prophet. I'd rather die. This must keep on prophesying. I'm going to be doing many of his prophecy. It's like he's doing the challenge or run is a bat is on the battleground with people in prophecy. If you see nonsense, this man is still pouring out. You just prophesied out loud, failed a false prophet. And did they care? He keep on that is playing games. Check this out. The uh, apostles, excuse me, the apostles of the biblical Messiah, Yahushua Hamishiach, Matthew uh, 17, 14 through 21. And when they were come to the multitude, they came to him and set him up, kneeling down to him and saying, Adonai, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and so versed. For often he falleth into the fire and into the water. And I brought them to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. They couldn't cast out that devil. And Yahushua did. So what did the apostles did? Listen, and I come to him. Okay, 19. Now. Then came the disciple to Yahushua apart. He said, why could we not cast that devil out? Why? Listen, Yahushua not telling the problem. And he said unto them, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a master seed, ye shall say unto, the, unto this mouth, uh, mountain, remove this to yonder place, and he shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it? Nevertheless, this is the cause. This kind goeth not out by prayer, but by fasting. So what are we saying? The theory moves. They were embarrassed. Ah, we have been with this God. And we, you know, we time, someday, sometimes he sent us outside. So why couldn't we to this? Yahushua yeah, let them know the problem. This very devil is the devil of, of Noah's day and eh, Lot's days. We see fire, then we see water. That is a devil that is going to make turn you into lunatic, like you all become lunatic, still praising this heat goat, this now saint just a silly destruction, calling him man of what man of bank. You are a lunatic. So why is the devil make why is the devil making you now to what why is he trying to put you into? Into the days of Noah's judgment. That was the water. He said for the devil was throw him into the water and also throw him into the fire. So what is the fire? It is the judgment of Saddam and Gomorrah when everything will be utterly wiped out. That is link of fire. But the disciple came with a humble heart. Messiah, why could it tie? Just a slimmer feet, no remorse at all. He still keep on pouring nonsense. Instead of you to be humbled, he just quiet for a moment. Why this prophecy could it come to pass? I heard. A clear voice. Who spoke to me? Who is walking in me? He didn't question that. And I keep saying now, I step for someone. I think I won't be able to read. It pains me. I'm still coming back. <clears throat> because this is a purifying effort message. Okay. This is a message that carry a huge deliverance. So I will still keep returning back to it. Now the scriptures I cannot read. Or rather I couldn't read. First Kings chapter 18, 41 through 45. So what happened over there? We see the prophet. We, this is what we want to do now. We see the prophet Eliyahu. He now prophesied to Ahab. Ahab, go home. For the rain is going to fall. Abundance of rain. You know, he once prayed. The rain ceased. Now you want to reverse that prayer. Ahab, just go home. You're going to be having a abundance of rain. So what did he do? He now go on his knees. Because you prophesied already. He now prayed. 
After he pray one time, he send his servant, go and check the cloud. Oh. The one will go to the cloud, he will check nothing. Oh. He will return back to him, he will say, son, nothing. Oh. <laughs> and Yahoo will go on his knees again, pray, say, go again. He now go again, nothing. Until the seventh time, that man was on his knees. He never prophesied no prophecy anymore because I've already declared it to the king, prophesied to the king and said, it's going to be abundant of rain. Don't burn that. You're going to see Yahuwah, oh myself, in another form. You just go and sit down and watch Yahuwah doing it again, reversing the situation again. Now Ahab went home waiting for that abundant of rain. And the prophet of Yahuwah make himself, he said, you that call upon heaven, give yourself no rest. And give Yahuwah no rest. He keep praying. Seven whole time. He will send his servant. Go and check the cloud for me. What is going on here? Now I will come and say, sorry, sir. Nothing you know, until the seventh time. He shut himself inside. This man is still prophesying nonsense. Just a little destruction still talking trash. He was not humbled at all. You just lied. You told the white world lie, and you felt no shame. Oh, go on, go on, Yeah, what's my thing? Let's take put some. Matthew 24, 24. This is the Messiah over there. Okay, called the miracle in life wonder. Okay, let's quickly read the book of uh, the two-headed snake. I, I need to put that, okay? I need to put that. The book of Hanukkah, whom you call Enoch, chapter 8, verses 2. I will do this video again, okay? Then I'm going to title it, The Mystery of Christian Miracle. Let's see, verses 2. And there arose much godliness, and they commit fornication, and they were led astray, and became corrupt in their ways. Some Jazel taught enchantments, and uh, wrote courtings, and morose the reserving of enchantments. Now, the one that is going to attack you is a snake. It's called some Jazel. It's gonna what is enchantment to bewitch you to cast spell on you, okay? Now it's gonna resolve it. It is Jesus, the amorous. When they, that is why I said the miracle is deceiving. That is why I said the miracle is a lying wonders. That is why I said the miracle is the mark of the beast miracle. Let me hang it here. These are the first prophet. They are here with you already. We'll do more of this, okay? Because I couldn't liberate or deliberate more the way it's supposed to be. But I'm running out of that. I got to go now. Revelation. 1920 you're going to see the end of the first prophet 20 revelation 20 verses 10 you're going to see the end of the first prophet is the link of fire the first prophet is going down with the amorous and the sam jazet allah is the amorous sam jazet is the jesus excuse me sam jazet is the amorous jesus is the ah what am i saying sam jazet is allah jesus uh, amorous is jesus the one that will heal you that is jesus and that snake, that is what I saw on him. He will attack. He will. That is why it's deceiving. Miracle. We are done for now. Thank you, Abba.